But we're just going to speed through with some of these topics. Paul, thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in. And this next topic, I got found or I found a screenshot that looked pretty interesting to me that confirms that potentially Tesla might be offering refunds on order fees if you follow these exact steps. Because I wasn't necessarily sure or confirmed on whether you could actually get a order deposit refund back. But it seems like if you follow this exact step, you might actually be able to do it. I mean, there is definitely a way to get your order fee back, not from Tesla. Tesla, you got to go through kind of a, a different way to get there. And it's proven because I've done it. But this is a one a way, I guess it seems that Tesla will offer you a refund. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it. But basically just getting the best deal on Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. All right. So let us take a look at this. So it looks like what happened here was this person ordered a Tesla from the Tesla website. They just went through the normal channel like most people do. They go on to the tesla.com website. They did not go to waiting for Tesla and they didn't secure a vehicle. They just went to the main website, placed an order, placed a deposit, and it was $250. But what happened was, of course, like most of you out there are probably waiting right now, you've got a pending order in the queue. You've got some sort of EDD date or whatever like that. And you really don't know when your vehicle, or you don't have an exact time frame of when your vehicle is actually coming. Of course, they maybe give you like a two week time frame, three week time frame, but maybe you might not have a VIN. But what this person did, it looks like shout out to Christopher Hamright. They post on the Tesla Model Y group within Facebook. So shout out to him and also the Facebook groups. I always recommend joining those Facebook groups because you can find a good amount of resources in there. But here's what the quote is. I ordered a Tesla Model Y on January 24th. I found and reserved another Model Y from inventory from the next state over on January 28th. On January 31st, I can't canceled the original order and was promised a refund for the order fee. So I'm not sure where they actually got that sort of promise from. They might have texted back within the Tesla chat or even gone to their local Tesla store, which I always recommend. Quote, I took delivery on the February 13th and was told that the refund would approximately take a month. Yesterday, which today was yesterday, is April 3rd. Yesterday, I reached out to my Tesla advisor to inquire about the refund and the funds were credited back that evening. So we take a look from this screenshot. It says your Tesla Model Y order has been canceled. And we don't really see some sort any sort of refund here. I think when I clicked on it, I did see a refund at the bottom of it uh, with of the order screen. But uh, you can see that what this person did was they ordered a vehicle from this white website. Right? They let it sit on their account. What they did then did was they found a inventory vehicle, secured it with another deposit, and then messaged their Tesla advisor or went to the store or whatever to try and get the refund after that. So really cool confirmation to see that Tesla will give you your money back. I have definitely heard it in the past before, but I've never, I guess, never seen it in writing or any sort of screenshot. So this is a good strategy out there. If you have a pending estimated delivery date or a pending order and you find a vehicle in inventory, you know, you might want to reach out to your Tesla advisor, A, first to see if they can line you up to the actual vehicle and then B, that you can get a refund on your initial order. So of course, your experience is made May vary. Every Tesla advisor is different. Every customer service rep can be a little bit of a different experience, but it's good to see that someone was able to get their money back at the end of the day. So let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know if this actually worked for you. Uh, I do always try and recommend talking to Tesla advisors at the, in person at stores to try and get to see if they can line you up with a delivery or a vehicle, but definitely some pretty interesting stuff. We're going to jump into our next topic and of course the live stream comments. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down in the description if you want to support the channel.